To the Laureus World Sports Awards 2018 here in the beautiful Principality of Monaco, a place that really is uh, boasts so much to do with sports. This is the birthplace of Laureus itself, the sixth time that we've held the Laureus World Sports Awards here. And it also hosts the Grand Prix, the Monte Carlo Rally and the Tennis Masters of course each year as well as being home to the reigning Liege One champions AS Monaco. Congratulations. And now, of course, Monaco also hosts the gripping Super Yacht One Upmanship World Championship. It's, uh, it's currently being held by Richard Branson, though I hear that Roman Abramovich has just added two more feet to his helipad, so Richard needs to up his game there. But um, seriously, it must be a great joy for so many of you to be at long last in the same country as your money. As an actor, I have to spend a bit of time in LA, and I have to tell you, it's so nice to be here instead amongst real, normal, unfit and unhealthy people. It just makes such a refreshing change. Um, but in all seriousness, there are some similarities between what I do and what you guys do at your best. And Well, I mean, I, for example, I've seen some truly incredible performances recently on the soccer pitch. I mean, in some cases, I actually did believe the players were really injured. <coughs> Cafu. <coughs> anyway. Hi have a 100 meter swimming certificate and I came third in my school sack race in 1985. I don't mean to brag, but it's quite a haul. <laughs> so seriously, we are here to celebrate the truly extraordinary sporting feats of the past 12 months. Many of them achieved by the nominees, the sportsmen and women sitting in front of us all this evening. So let's remind ourselves. Sitting with Figo and Cafu, you might recognize one of the all time greatest, the legendary FC Basel supporter, Roger Federer. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, can I have a latte, please? Latte. Oat milk. Well, no, okay, well, soy milk. Just, yeah, okay. Well, maybe nut milk. Any nut-based milk. I don't drink dairy. I have a dairy intolerance. Hello. One person's dedication to achieving sporting greatness over the past 12 months has known no bounds. He apparently spent more hours on the golf course perfecting his game than the world's top 10 golfers combined. Incredible. I believe we've got a picture of him now. Recently, in Pyeongchang, we were dazzled by moments of outrageous bravery on the ice. And that's just the Norwegian curling team's choice of outfits. Ouch. Oh, God. Oh, come on, guys. Now, some of you may remember the unveiling of Cristiano Ronaldo's statue at Madeira Airport earlier this year, which many thought looked nothing like the player in the slightest. Hmm. But incredibly, the same sculptor has also made a statue of Alessandro Del Piero. Luis Figo <laughs> and Victoria Pendleton. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was BC's Alternative Sports Headlines. I thank you.